Hello, Fremont family. I'm Jared Fisher. Uh, as you know, this year we have been meditating on some Bible passages together as a church, first in Romans 8 and now in Colossians chapter 3. During this season, um, we've had one weekly devotional video for the passage of the week. Uh, Dave Pack recently had an idea of adding another midweek video, kind of more focused on praying through the passage of the week, and so that's what we're doing today. Uh, Jesus taught us uh, to, to pray for God's kingdom to come on earth as it is in heaven. And um, choosing a Bible passage to pray through, to pray informed by a, a scripture, is, is a way, it's a very grounded way to do this, uh, to, to pray for God's kingdom to come on earth as it is in heaven. Uh, so I'm going to start by reading uh, the passage for this week, Colossians 3, verse 12. So... As people who have been chosen by God, holy and beloved, put on a heart of compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. So now um, you can join me in trying to pray in a way that's informed by this passage. Uh, I often like to write out my prayers. Uh, and I, I did that today as well. Um, Father God, help us to remember that we need you. Help us to come to you attentively, trusting that you have intentionally chosen each one of us. Help us to remember that you have rescued us out of real darkness and futility. In our hearts and in our community, by your spirit, I ask, that more and more the central basis of our reality would be that you love us. Please shape and expand our understanding of this, of our position by your power in your love forever. Help us to have the self-awareness and humility and power every day to put off the ways of darkness that you've rescued us out of and to put on your character, a witness today of your enduring good nature and coming kingdom. Help us not to resist your work of shaping our hearts. You know Father God, the difficult moments that are coming for us today and in this season. You know that we are weak and that you are strong. I pray that we would pass the tests that we've failed before for your pleasure and by your spirit. Help us to choose compassion instead of being self-centered to choose kindness instead of being critical. Please help us to reject arrogance and to become humble. Help us not to force outcomes, but to trust you and to take on your gentleness, even when we want to do the opposite. Help us to remember that the faith you call us to today looks like patient endurance, choosing love and hope over escapism and self-medicating delusions. Father God, I pray that you would help us to live a life worthy of Jesus, who is our life. We trust that you're happy to hear us today. In Jesus' name, amen.